Alright. Uh, for now on, what I'm going to do is, when I make a video, and I ask um, people to give me choices, subjects, and whatnot, what to talk about, I figure I'll give them a shout out. I thought that might be kind of cool. I don't fucking know. So this shout out goes out to Jen Wilson. She gave me the topic tonight of fake people. I usually like to be more positive, um, but fake people is a good thing to touch base on. So here we go. I really would say for the most part, I don't like the word fake because that kind of hurts a little bit. But what I would call people more so is unaware. Unaware of themselves and unaware of the life they live. And there's something I like to explain. And the only word I like to use is um, chameleon syndrome. <sighs> to go further, a lot of people don't know who they are. So depending on the group, depending on the social structure of the group they're around, depending on the, the morality of the group they're around, uh, depending on the styles, the, 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 the conversation, um, these people will change their identities. Now, to an extent, all of us do that. Because why? Because you, you wouldn't be very respectful to walk up into a church and just yell, Sticks and come! You know what I mean? So you, you have to you know kind of base it off that. But what I'm talking about is the people who really don't know who they are, so they constantly are shifting personalities, almost like a schizophrenic. I read once from some philosopher, I think, that like 99% of society is is working with some type of schizophrenia because nobody really knows who they are and they don't really have like a deep integrity for what they believe in so they're constantly shifting back and forth now why I say that is fake people usually are the type that are labeled as fake because around you they'll say one thing um, for instance I knew a guy once who long story short I, I loved this girl way back in the day and, um, you know, we, we separated a little bit, and my friend's like, hey, I'm going to hang out with her. And I was like, okay, dude, don't sleep with her. I know how you are. Don't do it. Don't do it. He's like, man, I love you. You're my best friend. You're my brother. Long story short, he put his dick in her mouth. And I was really confused. I was like, wait, you know, you told me all this stuff, but I'm your brother, and you would never do that. But yet, when you were not around me, you did something that was actually the opposite of what I could have ever imagined you've done um, and what that is is it's like this person didn't know who they were so depending on the situation they would just say what needed to be said to get them to the next situation where they would really just lie um, continuously um, to kind of um, appease the person they're speaking to and to 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 be liked by the people the person of people that we're speaking to so you know it's 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 you know it's it, you know there's the other thing of there's a lot of people who are very insecure so they may talk to you and make up all these stories and I've seen this a bunch of times they may make up these stories oh I'm this I'm that a lot of men say oh I sleep with all these girls um, a lot of women go around and they say I don't sleep with anybody um, yeah, on the other hand, a lot of these men that say that aren't, haven't slept with hardly anybody, and the women who say, no, I don't sleep with anybody, usually tend to sleep with a lot of people. You hear that stereotypical saying of uh, the number a man gives you for how many people he slept with, uh, divided by two, women multiply it by two. I think that might be halfway justifiable, depending on who you're talking to, because that's just a stereotype. But So... Fake people, it's a good word, but it's a little bit more negative. I feel like fake people are just, they just don't know who they are. So they run around putting different masks on like they're in some type of a fucking Phantom of the Opera play or something. And they will, they will use whatever they can, whether it be gestures, sexuality, clothing, words, to fit into a specific category that they want you to see them as. Um, 
it's just really sad because you know what the truth of it is a lot of people are like that so it's almost like eh, you know I mean I run across people like that all the time and it's not really it's nothing I hate on because it's just we, we live we live in that type of reality where a lot of it's really hard for people to know who they are because it's hard to look in the mirror and it's hard to know your downfalls it's hard to know what you fucked up so instead of kind of looking at yourself and saying wow this is what I do that I really shouldn't do or like who am I you know what I mean like who I wanna be who am I people tend to just be facades and a made up image of who they want people to think they are rather than who they really are uh, and I know I just phrase it in a million different ways but the thing is like when it comes down to it a lot of like you know a lot of all these teachings every single holy teaching talks about forgiveness you have to forgive these people because you know we always say they know better no it's not true I've been thinking about that saying a lot lately if someone knew better they wouldn't be doing what they're doing so if they're if they're fake fake to you and they're putting on masks they don't know you know what I mean like they don't know what it is to be authentic they don't know what it is to be vulnerable and to really express themselves in their real form so the person you see you're seeing is just a drawing it's you know what I mean it's just a it's a fucking video game you don't know what that is so that's another reason why I say a lot of times like like I love people and I'm really nice to them but I kind of keep my distance you know because because people just don't know who they are and, and if you don't know who you are it's dangerous to be around people like that because you don't know what they're gonna do do you know what I mean um, so it's gonna mind your P's and Q's fake people Jen I hope that was good I hope you guys liked it um, if you want to talk like this, if you want to speak your mind, if you want to relate to people, if you want to bring some philosophy, drop some philosophy bombs on people, fucking under this video there'll be something that says click here, click it, let me get your email, sign on, and fucking we can work together and we can do this shit together and we can make videos and we can talk to each other and I can coach you on how to how to write and how to how to express yourself and pa 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 we could we could uh, take over the world one change mind stay with the time I like you even though I don't know you <laughs>